What's up guys, I am back with part 2 for this tutorial on how to build this large suburban house. And in this video, we're going to be bringing up the roof for the lower sections of the house, as well as doing the front porch. So, the blocks you're going to need are going to be some quartz stairs, quartz slabs, dark oak wood stairs, white concrete, pillar quartz block, dark oak wood slabs, dark oak planks, blocks of quartz, iron trap doors, and some sea lanterns. Alright, so we'll start by doing the roof for the lower sections. So that's going to be like this little section over here and then that section above the garage. So we'll start on this side. You can switch to your quartz stairs. We're gonna place these upside down, starting right here at the top edge of these walls that we brought up in part one. So just make sure your windows, there's like three blocks of glass, and then you should have two layers of white concrete above the windows. All right, so it looks like this. So we're gonna have upside down quartz stairs going along here, then a slab in the corner, then a, another upside down stair, and then another slab. Okay, let's go to this back side. We're going to have two stairs here, then a slab in the corner, then another stair and another slab. All right, then you can switch back to your stairs. You can push this towards this back side. Then you're gonna have another slab here in the corner then another stair and this is actually going to continue along until you meet up with that wall okay so it looks like this as you can see the corners are filled in with slabs instead of the stairs now let's start doing the shape like the triangle shapes so we'll start here back at the front we're going to place a quartz stair then an upside down one but it's like sideways then you could place it on top of that like a regular stair and then you could just keep doing upside down and then upward and then upside down and upward back and forth until you're about in the middle of this wall all right so you're going to be on this side of the white concrete that's how you know you're in the center you can then go to this corner we're going to do the same thing. So remember, upside down but sideways here. And then just back and forth the same way that we did the other side. Alright, so we have to go up one more. And it should meet up side by side like that. So we have one shape down. Now we have to do this one back here. So we'll start at this corner, and it's going to be basically the same thing. So another stair, then an upside down sideways one, and then remember just back and forth. So this one is going to just be a little bit different. So I'm going to bring this up, and I would say we could stop it. We'll stop it right around here for now. It doesn't really matter. You don't need to count it, because we're going to go from the top of this... Make sure you're lined up with this stair here. And you could place this across until it's lined up with that shape that we just brought up. You could delete these. So it's like a floating stair. And then you could continue bringing this side up. And then we're going to basically be forming another triangle shape behind the previous one that we already made. Okay, so as you can see, we just formed another triangle shape. So it looks like this. It kind of looks like one big shape that all flows together, but it's actually just two separate ones. So from back here, it looks like one big triangle. Alright, so just make sure you have three quartz stairs going down in this direction. Alright, and it should be lined up with this stair here. And then we have one space in the middle in between them. Alright, so now we have the shapes on this side done. So the next thing we could do is we'll go ahead and start filling in the white concrete behind the shapes. So switch to that. You could start here, right on this quartz, bring it straight across. 
and then stop it on the quartz on this side. Now make sure the blocks are on the outer edge like this. You want to make sure they're all right behind the upside down stairs. Alright, so I'm going to continue going up. All right, as you can see, it's all filled in. And then from this side, there isn't any white concrete that's on the outer edge. It's all within the shape. Okay, now let's go behind this shape. We're going to start here. We're going to bring it straight across. And we can just line it up until it's like right on the edge of that white concrete. So we're going to go here. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to overhang it by one. We're going to go up here. Overhang it by one. As you can see, I'm following right along the edge of this white concrete. All right, so hopefully this isn't too confusing. And then as we work our way up here, we just have to, we can stop it here and then start filling all of this in. All right, and then we have to add one extra here because of that. Okay, so you don't have to make this perfect. We uh, As soon as we start placing the stairs, you'll see which parts you may have missed. So you could just start filling it all in however you want. Because as soon as we do start doing the stairs, uh, you'll be able to make adjustments if needed. So speaking of that, let's switch to our dark oak wood stairs. We'll get it out of the way so that you guys could see real quick if you missed anything. So I'm going to place a stair right there. And then it's going to curve into this one. And then it's going to stop here and curve into that stair. Now I'm able to place it right up against this final white concrete block that we place on the edge. So we could just place two here, then two here. So basically, if you missed a block and there's a hole here, you're going to have to fill that in. So keep that in mind. All right. So you can fill all of this in until you are at the top layer. So right there. As you can see, there's no holes. It's all filled in with white concrete. Then we're going to work our way back down this side. So this is towards the front side now. All right. Then you could bring this straight across and it's going to stop right here where we left, where we basically started, right where this quartz is. And now we're just going to go up and fill in all of this space. So I'm going to bring this straight across and stop it where we stopped the bottom layer. Just keep doing this until you have it all filled in. I would recommend using a potion of swiftness since this will take a little while, but uh, I'm not really going to worry about it since my inventory is full. I don't want to have to worry about having a potion and stuff. So I'm just going to fill it all in. But yeah, I would recommend using a potion of swiftness so you could possibly keep up with me a little bit easier. Alright, so I have this part all filled in. Now we're going to go along the edge of these quartz stairs. And keep in mind, we're still going to be stopping it right here on this edge. Now I always say this, be sure to definitely let me know if this part's too confusing, if I'm going too fast, because I will slow down. Uh, I haven't had, like every time I've asked this, I haven't had anybody say that I was going too fast so far. You guys all seem to think I'm going at a pretty good pace. But trust me, if there is somebody out there uh, who maybe is struggling for with this part, because I know this is like the hardest part of the build, uh, just let me know. I'll slow down or explain it a little bit better for the... Uh, future videos all right so as you can see i'm just following right along and bringing it straight across it's not too difficult but it could be a little bit uh difficult to understand where exactly where exactly to be placing everything all right so it, now we have a few more layers and then we have like the side entirely filled in keep in mind we are going to have some windows in the roof but I think I'm going to do that in the next video. So we'll do all of the extra details in the roof. Uh, not in this video, but in the next one. Okay, so there we go. Uh, one other thing we could do. We could go right here. Cut out a square, leaving basically like a block and a half above this uh, hole right here. And then we could just put a bunch of ups, or not upside down, but just a bunch of stairs in a square like that. So it forms a cool shape. And then you could go from the inside and fill in this empty space with white concrete. Now, I believe we could do that for this other shape as well. Right here. 
Actually, no, I'm not gonna have one here because it is a little bit of a small space. You could if you want to. As far as I remember, I actually didn't have one. I had them too for the garage doors, like the garage areas, as you can see over there. But speaking of the garage side, we are gonna start doing that now because this side is actually done for now. Like I said, we are gonna have some windows in the roof, but we're not worried about that. Okay, so now let's head on over to the garage side. It's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be two triangle shapes, as you can see over there, except we have some triangle shapes here on the sides. So we didn't have that on that side. All right, so we're gonna start here at the front. You can switch to your quartz stairs. We're gonna have them upside down, three like that. This one is actually, oh, oh no, I'm destroying everything. All right, uh, this one right here is actually gonna be curved right up against that pillar. And then we're gonna have a slab, then a stair and a slab. So make sure this one is curved. If it's just sit sitting like that, it doesn't really look right because you can see this block right here and stuff. So you gotta make sure it's curved like that. Okay, now let's go on to this side. Once again, make sure this one is on its side, then your slab, a stair, and a slab. Then switch back to your court stairs. We're gonna bring this along here. We're gonna have a slab here. And then we're going to have a stair and a slab. All right. Now let's go to this section here. A sideways block up against that pillar, then a slab, a stair, and a slab. And then this part, you can switch back to your quartz stairs. It's going to be straight along to the back side. Remember a slab in the corner. Then right here, this one we have to curve up against the pillar. Then a slab. Then a stair and a slab. We're going to go to this part. It's the same thing once again. So a stair here, a stair here, a slab, and a slab. And then the final two blocks right there up against that wall. Okay. So there we go, I'll go all the way around, do a little flyby so you can see exactly what we did. So and now, we can actually start forming the shapes. So I'm gonna work my way back up here to the front. All right, you guys got it all, you can see what I did. All right, so yeah, now we got this front. So we're gonna have a small triangle shape here. So it's gonna be the same design that we did. So a stair here, then a sideways upside down one and then just back and forth until you meet up at the middle, which in this case is gonna be on that side of the window, so we have to bring it up one more. All right, now let's go on this side. We're gonna bring it up the same way until each side meets up and then we form a triangle shape. Okay, there we go. Now let's go to the back side and we're gonna do the same thing. It should be matched up with the front. Okay, there we go. So two triangle shapes like that. Now let's start doing the triangle shapes for the garage door side. So we'll start, we'll work our way back up to the front. We're gonna go from this corner. We're gonna have a stair, then an upside down sideways one, and then just regular and upside down back and forth until you meet up with the center of this shape. So it's gonna be lined up with that trip wire hook on the left side down there. All right, then let's go to this corner and bring this side up. All right, so now we have that shape. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did over there. So it's gonna like connect with the top and we're gonna work our way down and stuff. So we're gonna go from this corner first and it's gonna be the same thing. So upside down sideways and then back and forth. We'll bring it up until we feel like uh, we're pretty high up where we need to be. Okay, so I'm going to stop it right here for now. Then we're going to go from this side. Make sure you're on top of this stair here. And we just want to bring it over one so it's lined up with that. You could delete this block. And then you can start bringing this up as well as the other side until you form the triangle shape here. 
All right, there we go. So we brought this side up from right here. We have it one, two, three, and four. So it looks like this. Okay, now we're gonna go behind these shapes, every single one, so this one, this one, and then those smaller ones over there. We'll do the smaller ones first. And you can fill in all of the space behind them with your white concrete from the inner sides, like the inner uh, upside down stairs, not the outer edge, just the inner edge. Let's do the same on this side. All right, now we gotta be behind all of these shapes. So we'll start with this one first and we're gonna fill all of this in. And then we'll do the other shape as we follow along the edge of the white concrete for this shape. All right, so now we're gonna go from right here. We're gonna bring it straight across. We could stop it right here on the edge then we could go up, stop it right there on that edge, and just keep doing this until you have it all filled in. It's a little bit easier to do it on this side since the blocks are kind of like touching. On the other side, there is a one block gap. All right, I almost have it all filled in. So we have this last one, and then we can start filling in this spot. And there we go. So now from the outside, it should all be filled in like this. And remember, we could switch to our quartz stairs and have that cool square with the quartz stairs right here. And then up here as well. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I think it adds more detail to the shapes. And now remember behind them, you can have some white concrete to fill in that hole. Now, the next thing that we have to do is just fill in all of this space with our dark oak wood stairs. And then we have this roof all filled in and taken care of. So I'll start down here. And it's going to be the same thing that we did before. All of the dark oak stairs are going to curve into the court stairs. As you can see, it's going to be a little bit different since we have these triangle shapes here to worry about. But I'll go ahead and show you. I won't like uh, fast forward or anything. We'll just get through it together. So we gotta go up one more. And fill in this side, and boom, we got that corner done. Now we're gonna go to this side. We're gonna start from the bottom, so fill this in, and then work our way up until we meet up with the uh, other side over there. And then we could go to the back side, and I'm saying side a lot. Then we could go to the back and do the same thing again. So we gotta go up one more. And there we go. So we have the front, like that. So far, we still have to bring it up, but to make it easier, let's go to the back and we'll do the same thing that we just did. All right, gotta go up one more. All right, now we'll go to this side, start from the bottom and work our way up again. Okay. So now we have both the front or the back and the front side filled in like that. Now we can start working our way up and filling in the rest of the space. So this is just going to be brought straight across until we stop where we stopped it. So just bring it straight across, stop it here. So you have this entire side filled in and then we'll work our way down the other side. And then yeah, we have both of the roofs for each side all done for the lower roofs and i still plan on doing the front porch and then that'll be it for part two so in part three we'll bring up the walls for the middle section of the house for the second floor of the house we'll cover up the like that middle section with the roof and then we'll do the back deck and all of the windows in the roof that'll be it for part three 
And then in part four, we'll do all of the landscaping and stuff around the building. And then part five, we'll start working on the interior. And yeah, there should be actually the interior. There's a lot. There's like a lot of bedrooms. So there should be a few parts for that. And then we have the build done. But for now, we're just worried about this. So we just have the front porch left to do. And then we are done with this part. Uh, real quick, make sure not to forget this part. We got this little gap here. So you could place a stair like this, curve it in, and then curve it into that quartz stair, and then work your way up until you have this all filled in up until there. All right, so now we have all of this done. Let's go from the front side, see what it looks like so far. So yeah, we just have to bring up the walls for the middle section, top it off with the roof, and then we have like the main exterior done. But first, let's go ahead and start doing the front porch. And that will be the last thing we do in this video. All right, now for the front porch. So you can switch to your pillar quartz block. We'll start over here at the front left side. Make sure you're lined up with this pillar here at the corner. We're gonna skip over four spaces. So one, two, three, four. So you gotta place your block right here. So it's gonna be right on the edge of this yellow concrete. So we still have, we have four spaces in between this wall and this pillar. Now you could bring this pillar up to the same layer, like the same uh, level as these walls here. Now you can skip over four spaces to the right of that pillar and have another pillar here. And then you can skip over four more and have one more. Now for this middle section, you wanna skip over five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth block, you could bring up another pillar. And now you just wanna continue skipping over four. And we have one more, and then that'll be it for the pillars. Make sure it lines up at this corner. All right, so make sure you have four spaces on these sides, on each side, as you can see, four spaces. Then we have four spaces here, four spaces here. In the middle, we have five spaces then four spaces here and four spaces here. All right. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll switch to our quartz stairs. And we're gonna go over to this side first where we started. We'll have a stair like that, then two upside down like this, and then another upside down so it all curves together. As you can see, they're all upside down. The two corners are curving. We're gonna do the same thing here. And then the same thing here. All right, now for this section, we'll go ahead and just have some dark oak wood slabs. And then we're gonna continue with our cord stairs for the rest of these spaces. Okay. Now you can switch to your dark oak planks and we're gonna fill in all of this space within the quartz and that slab. So this is just gonna be the floors for the front porch. And you can see that andesite here at the door. We're gonna go ahead and delete that and replace it with wood as well. So we have that out of the way. Let's continue filling in all of this. And then We'll start like doing the roof and stuff and then that's basically it. There's not really, oh no, we got to do the, um, like the railings. Okay, so let's not get too ahead of ourselves. This is what we have so far. Looking good. All right. Now, uh, one thing you could do here, and if you don't like the slab like this, you can instead bring it out. So you have a little step up like that. That is up to you. Um... You know what? I think I'm gonna leave it like that. You don't, you could have the slabs how we had it, but I, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Looks a little bit cool. All right, so it, now it, let's switch to our, we'll switch to the quartz slabs. We're gonna have a slab here and a slab here and then two upside down quartz stairs in the middle. So let's do that again, a slab, a slab, and then two upside down quartz stairs. If you don't like this design, you can instead have these stairs on the edge and the slabs in the middle. That is up to you, but I'm going to go ahead and do it the way I had it. So the slabs on the corners and then the stairs in the middle. All right, we got to do it three more times on this side. 
I will hurry up and, ha and uh, add all of the slabs first. And then all of the upside down stairs in the middle. So now that is going to be it for the railings. All good. You can then switch to your blocks of quartz. And what we're going to do is start here within all of the pillars and up against the brick wall. And we're going to fill in a layer of blocks of quartz. This is going to be the ceilings for the front porch. All right, so you go ahead and fill all of this in. Make sure you get like in between the pillars. So let me fill in this last layer and then I'll show you what I mean. All right, so now for the pillars, make sure to get in between them here on the outer edge. All right, there we go. You can then switch to your court stairs. We're going to um, meet it up with this court stair, have it upside down, and then have a slab in the corner, and then upside down until you meet up with the other side. And then a slab in the corner and then up against these stairs here okay now you can switch to your quartz slabs you could go down a half a block and add a layer of quartz slabs like that let's go through and do that everywhere else now you can switch to your quartz stairs and have them upside down, like right up against the pillars, right underneath these slabs as well. So we're going to go in the corners and just have upside down stairs right underneath those slabs that we just added. Okay. And now, one more thing we have to do for the roof. Well, actually, this back up. This is what it should look like. Looks like arches. I think it looks pretty cool. So now, let's switch to our dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place a layer right along the edge of this roof, these upside down stairs. Just bring this all the way around until you just meet up with these dark oak stairs here. Now, what I'm going to do is just add another layer all the way around on the same layer so there's, so there's two in total and then we'll meet it up and we'll stop it right here let's go on this side do the same thing so two layers like that now we're gonna go up one more layer and just completely fill all of this in and then we have the roof done so we're going to fill all of this in until we just meet, meet up at the edge of these slabs that we ended up placing. So right here. Well, actually, we're going to bring up the wall right here. So we don't necessarily need to have it on top of like above this brick here. So you could bring it back four layers. So one, two, three, four for this layer. So we'll completely fill all of this in. I'll go to this other side. Remember, bring it back four. So we have two, three, four. So it's right up against that brick, but not on top of it. Because, yeah, we still have to bring up these walls and make it a little bit easier to uh, not have to worry about deleting the slabs later on. So we'll leave it like that, as you can see. We might have to make adjustments later. Uh, for example, like this, we'll go ahead and delete. And we'll do the same thing here so yeah now we can easily bring up those pillars for the second floor okay so hopefully that wasn't too confusing this is the front porch now the last thing that we have left to do in this video is you could grab your sea lanterns and then the iron trap doors and we're going to put some lights here in the ceiling so i'll have it more like up against the wall so we'll have it like two spaces and then we'll have one here then we'll do the same on this side so we have one space here away from that wall two spaces here away from those stairs or those like quartz slabs then we'll skip over maybe like four spaces on each side okay and then we'll have maybe just one right here down the middle that's four spaces as well so there we go we have a total of one two three 
four, five. We could cover all of these up with iron trap doors. And then that'll be it for part two on how to build this large suburban house. Okay, so that's gonna be it for part two for this tutorial on how to build this large suburban house. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part three where we will be finishing the main exterior of the house. I'm alone, I'm a broken home. I gave you all the bricks that I own and know. I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want adventure, then fly to home. But if you want to travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us?